So Josh and I have been living in the camper now for a couple months. We've figured out what build works for us and the organization that works best for us as well. So I'm gonna show you guys what we have set up. So this is our 2005 Chevy Silverado. It has the LLY Duramax in it. We have 33 inch tires with Ultra Nemesis wheels on it. We've also got the tie rod sleeves right there because Chevys are known for breaking tie rods. We've also got this really awesome move bumper on the front that we had bed linered. Josh actually welded it all together and it turned out amazing. And we also went ahead and painted the grill black and the Chevy bow tie orange, which I think makes it look just absolutely killer. And then these are the new style mirrors that you'd see on the new Chevys that we had put that we put on. And they are awesome. They actually really, really help with blind spots. Um, because the other one we had a little bit of a blind spot, but these ones completely no more blind spot. And then of course we have our 2018 Granby Shy Model four-wheel camper. Then coming into the back, we have these two boxes on either side. They kind of just hold tools, tie-downs, um, little things here and there that we'd need. We have both of our helmets for downhill parks. And in the center, we have a bunch of tools in case we need to fix anything. And then we have in the back, we have a bike pump and we also have an ax for chopping wood. And then of course our velocity grill. So this is the bike rack that Josh built. It's made out of two inch square tubing and we welded a clevis onto the top of it so that we could chain our bikes up to it so that we can walk away and not worry about our bikes being taken. Basically how it works is we just take this bolt out, lift up, and push out, just like so. All right, and then attached to the hitch that Josh made, we just purchased the cheap Swagman bike rack. It was like a hundred bucks and it's worked great so far, but the problem that we have is that these are starting to take the paint off of our bikes. You can see it right there on Josh's really well. So eventually we're going to upgrade this. It's just such a, it's expensive. The bike racks are expensive. So for now this works great, but this is one of the things that we'll definitely be changing on it. So coming into the camper, we have our Dometic CF18 fridge. We have it wedged in here with these blocks and a safety strap, but we haven't had any issues with it moving around and we've been down some really bumpy roads. It's a little on the small side, but that's okay. It keeps all of our food really cold and we haven't had an issue with fitting anything in there either. It's running off of solar all the time. We haven't had any issues with solar and we spend a lot of time on the Oregon coast and there were no issues whatsoever with it getting power. So that was awesome. And then we have our little sticker wall of some of the places we've been recently. And then right down here is where we keep electronics, our shower pack, a few extra kitchen items and some shoes. Then we have my clothes bin and Josh's clothes bin. Our toiletry bin where we keep all of our shower supplies and medication like allergy stuff. And we also have our Mr. Buddy heater in there. Turning around, this is where we keep some of our dishes like our plates, our bowls. We have our jet boil in there, the AeroPress. Then we keep oatmeal, breads, the rice cooker up here. All of our canned goods go right down here. And then this is where we put our propane and butane bottles as well as our fire starters. Then coming up, we've got our bed area. And we have it pulled out right now so that we have the extra bed space 
which we actually really like. I think the bed is what kind of makes this, helps makes this whole thing possible. Um, it just makes it so much comfortable having that extra amount of room. Up top, we just cut in this little bin here. We just keep like knickknacks. We have some books up here, um, just a few extra things. Right below all our cabinets where we keep our clothes and stuff, we also have some additional food storage where we can keep, you know, like pasta, sugar, rice, that kind of thing. And then there's also the electrical area right over there. And you can see the solar display panel as well. So that sums up our little camper tour of how we're living in it now. And we really love it. It's very comfortable. It's really easy to keep clean and organized as well. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.